Today I'm going to look at Matt Giddo's goal kicking. I'm not going to spend any time on the question of whether any other player could have kicked that penalty against England last weekend or even that kick against Scotland last year. What I want to do is look at whether we can find any technical factors that might have contributed to crucial misses like that. There's no single method of kicking that's right. It's more about what a kicker is comfortable with and what they can repeat over and over again even when they're under pressure. So let's look at some different styles. You can see here that James O'Connor stays fairly upright. His head's quite close to the position of the ball as he kicks it and his weight is moving forward as he kicks the ball. So his foot travels towards the goalposts rather than kicking around the ball. Now Johnny Wilkinson uses a slightly different method. His lower body is more at an angle away from the ball, but he keeps his upper body straight, so his head is a little further away from the ball as he kicks it, and he also kicks more around the ball rather than through it. But obviously it's worked very well for him, and I think that's because he can repeat it over and over again. Let's look at Matt Giddo's technique. It's very similar to Wilkinson's, with the only difference being that he follows through towards the post even less than Wilkinson and therefore kicks more around the ball. But as I said earlier, it's more about what works for each kicker and making sure that you repeat the same style over and over again. So as you watch these clips, look to see whether Gitto is consistent or his technique varies from kick to kick. Now those kicks were from the end of year tour last year. Now we move into the game against Fiji where he kicked very well and finally to the game against England last weekend. The kicks are from both left and right sides of the field and that really only matters if you curve the ball in the air a lot, which Gitto doesn't. And of course the last kick he missed was from right in front, so I'm not sure that left or right side of the field is part of the problem. For all of those clips he's consistent in where his foot lands, the angle of his body and where his head is in relation to the ball at impact. So I don't think his alignment is a problem. The area where I think Giddo does have a problem, and he could be a more reliable kicker, is the fact that he doesn't get his weight moving through the ball a little more as he strikes it. You can see from these two clips from last weekend, which I've slowed down, that he kicks around the ball and he doesn't follow through. In fact, he's almost running away from the ball immediately after he's kicked it. Now this can cause a kicker to lean back a little too far and swing their leg across the ball too much, which would cause a left-footed kicker to push the ball left of the post, which of course is exactly what happened with those kicks he was missing at the end. That's an area that I think he needs to work on.